Hi guys, it's Matthew here again. Uh, it's uh, it's Saturday today. Um, we are, uh, I think, what, seven days now until Christmas. Uh, we're getting very close. Um, and I wanted to, uh, you know, talk about um, the M in uh, December, which um, out of our top 12 tips is movement and mindset. Uh, starting off with movement, very, very important. Certainly over the Christmas period, there's many ways we can keep moving. Um, it's important that um, we stay active for at least 150 uh, minutes a week. That is the recommended uh, range or the minimum range, would I say. Uh, but there are many ways we can do this. Um, of course, there's family activities, uh, more active ones, uh, things like interacting with the uh, the computer and doing sort of like, you know, uh, dancing type of uh, games. Um, there's also uh, walking, out, walking out in nature. Uh, that's also very, very helpful. Again, can be done as a family activity um, and is recommended. And of course, attending the gym, but of course the gym will be shut uh, over the course of Christmas and the New Year uh, for some part. And unless you've got all fortunate enough to have a gym at home or maybe an exercise bike at home or a rowing machine or some sort of cardio or uh, a cable uh, of some sort um, or any kind of gym equipment at home, then of course um, you will have access to that uh, for a certain amount of days over the uh, festive period. But it is important to stay, uh, you know, to keep moving, uh, to try and stay active. Uh, some people might be wearing... Um, uh, smart watches uh, that will allow you uh, that will send you notifications or uh, or will vibrate to inform you when you're being too stentory <clears throat> but try not to be too stentory over over Christmas and New Year um, and of course beyond that you know movement is very very important for all of us uh, it enables us to release endorphins and um, it keeps us healthy of course helps us to burn the calories and uh, just allows us to um, just like nutrition manage our weight a bit better okay uh, not to mention obviously the stretching side, uh, remaining supple, things like yoga and stuff like that can also be um, a form of movement as well. Um, but of course there's walking, there's jogging, there's cycling, rowing, there's all sorts of ways and means of, of moving uh, and just getting them um, that minimum of 150 minutes per week which is recommended um, as a good rule of thumb. Uh, if you can do more then great, but it doesn't always have to be intense exercise, it can be very light or moderate. Swimming is a very good one. Um, if you're able to, swimming is a very good all body, all over body workout, um, and just having ten or twenty minutes a day of movement can be really beneficial. So, definitely recommended. And in terms of mindset, uh, mindset is key uh, for most things. Um, mindset is very very important. Probably uh, one of the most important things. And um, you know, there's many many different versions of mindsets out there these days. Entrepreneurial mindset, warrior mindset, growth mindset, fixed mindset. And many other ones as well, um, but I think the two main ones are um, the division between a growth mindset and a fixed mindset and going for the growth mindset um, wherever you can. Um, that means obviously being, um, being being prepared to grow, being, able, being prepared to fail, um, being prepared to pivot, a couple of things that I've mentioned this week already or these last few days. Um, so mindset is key and uh, a good person's um, uh, books to read. Um, I also could share a book with any of you that w are interested um, over Instagram. Uh, just let me know, and that is the Carol Dweck's mindset book. Carol Dweck is uh, you know a key author around mindset, and she talks very much about having a growth mindset. Um, and I always talk to my team, and I talk to those clients I have about how important having a growth mindset is. Um, don't overcomplicate it. Just Try not to have too much of a fixed mindset and just be um, aware and be prepared and be um, be willing to, to, to grow from every situation, even the ones that aren't so good or um, aren't so um, so ple pleasant. Um, but uh, basically, even the hardest of circumstances, um, they can be blessings and we can learn a lot, learn a lot from them. So movement and mindset are crucial uh, now and certainly um 2024 and beyond that so really really important and uh, tomorrow um, we will uh, talk about benevolence uh, which is another very very important but again um, I think what I'm on uh, 0.5 out of 12 um, so we're getting down them now um, hope everyone's having a nice build up to the festive period to the uh, to Christmas day and uh, yeah um, just wishing you all well and um, hope to speak to you in the, in the new year at some point and um, 
if you're doing any coaching, then uh, only I'm only a message away. Um, free consultations are available and um, virtual one-to-ones are available as well. Um, and of course, if you are anywhere local to me now in the areas of Nottinghamshire or Derbyshire, then of course there's also face-to-face as well, uh, coaching sessions. But uh, movement and mindset are fundamental, so please do work on them. All right? Bye for now.